We're live. Okay. <laughs> I love how you fled. So, so we are coming to you from a site that we never ever use. Thus, the confusion. I use. Okay. So, so Nicole uses, but we're coming to you from a camera combination. I don't think we've ever used before. Um, you get to see the chaos that is where we work. This is the Resource Center at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. It's part of the STEM Center. We use this Resource Center for a variety of different things. Uh, near and dear to my heart is our Friday morning meetings in which I get to steal fruit, which we have learned during the Hangout-a-thon is something that is not to be left near me because I will devour it in a way that I'll regret several days later when my pants don't fit. Um, all that said, uh, the, the real reason that this place exists is for the lending library of equipment and books and things that we have for teachers K through 12 in university. We recognize that a lot of schools just don't have the resources that they need um, to buy lab equipment, to buy robots to teach robotics. And this center exists for those things. And then we also do stuff like bulk purchases of disposables. And we'll sell that stuff in the amounts that it's needed to schools so that they don't have to lay out quite as much cash. So basically, we're a place that facilitates science getting done in the K through 12 school system. I want to add, uh, we did a whole learning space episode about this place with um, manager Colin Wilson, who is probably like, why are they doing over the my STEM Center? Uh, so check that out on the learning space page. We did a whole uh, interview with him, and we actually picked up the computer and um, gave you guys a little tour of the exciting parts of this room. So, yay. Or yeah, I guess the old room. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, we promised during our 36-hour hangout a fun of insanity. Um, a fundraising. You guys actually just totally blew my mind with how we were able to raise over $24,000 in 36 hours. And as our thanks to you, we are going to humiliate ourselves. Um, for me, this is the second year in, the row, in a row as we demonstrate our inability to bake. I say hi to Guido. <laughs> and Nicole says hi to Guido. Hi Guido. Oh, I actually see your thing here too. Yeah. Um, she's got it on the other laptop. So, so joining me just off screen are Tiny Intern and, and Joe, who's looking dubious and is not going to stand up and come wave at all of you. So being individuals who sort of vaguely, kind of, sort of, maybe know how to read instructions on boxes, but apparently forgot that we needed a spoon. Can you find us a spoon? We, <laughs> we, <laughs> We have a mixing bowl. We have a box obtained at Walgreens of cake mix. Walgreens is getting so much food. What is this food so for? Mixing? Yes. And you want a fork. Okay. Uh, vegetable oil, because that's what the box said I need. Apparently, we can't bake, but tiny and turn can. <laughs> yeah. Last time I baked, I kid you not, I had Fraser Kane's daughter on the other end of a Skype helping me bake from Canada. Um, we also have eggs, because that's what the box said we needed. We do not have any measuring devices, so I'm going to rely on my lab skills. OK, we I have a third of a cup. cup. OK, we have a third of a cup measure. Yeah, but can we eat from the lab? So we need one cup of water. Oh, OK, well, I have a third of a cup here, so we'll just fill it three times. Done. Okay, we also are going to need half a cup of vegetable oil. That's harder. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. For crying out loud, I can't communicate it fast. It's, it's that full plus one third of that gets us to half of a cup. Okay. Because that would then be four, six. No, that's still wrong. Half a cup. So one third is two six plus a third of that is three six. So yes. Use that entirely, and then a third of it gets us to half of a cup. I'm going to do that. We only have two ounce cups. I don't know how to go from ounces to cups. Internet, I hope we're amusing you. Eight ounces of a cup. Okay, so so we need eight ounces of water, sort of. Now I'm sure we're doing this in entirely the wrong order. Wait, so. wait, you have to read the box and see what order to put things in first. Okay, okay, in a large bowl. Beet, cake mix, water. Okay, so you didn't bring a beater either, so it has to be done really, really quickly. Joe! Okay. <laughs> what? 
We're going to make you bake cake, feet cake batter. Um, the cake makes water, oil, and eggs, and low speed through the cake. Then we need to create some So cake first, and then the water, and then the oil, and then the egg. Okay. So they put things in order first. Okay, so we are following the instructions on the box because tiny intern. You're opening the box because I have a problem. <laughs> Tiny intern who went to prom the other night and has very girly fingernails. I do, it's great! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have, we have an entire bit of measuring cups. We do? Measuring cups with spouts. Okay, and there's and nothing we, we don't put have. Food in them. Can we put food yeah, in them? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen. Look, 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 we even have metric. Who cares? This is America. Look at this. We have okay. like all the things, and they're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have added per the instructions as read by Tiny in turn, because I'm a scientist and forget to R O F L, our T F L brother can't do acronyms. Um. Okay. He says quantitative scientific baking. Did we bring water with us, or do I need to go get water? We need to go get water. Okay, I'll go get water. Yeah. Just, oh, it has one top. Thank you, Tom. We're very scientific here. <laughs> okay. Joe is just sitting here staring. I'm, I'm told I have to do stuff. Yeah, you're gonna have to beat this in a moment. Okay. So now I'm going to do math. We need half a cup. We have a third of a cup measure, and I like math. So one third is two sixths. So I'm going to fill this and get two sixths, which is also a fun word to say. Why? Can you fill the water first? Why can't I? It doesn't matter. Okay, fine. What are you doing? Baking is particular. Ooh. Are you sick? What? No. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that was Nicole stealing the food from Tiny Intern. Okay, she gets it. Okay, so I added two six. I'm now going to fill this one third of the way. So I'm now adding one third of one third. And if I did this, no, I'm adding one half of one third because one half of one third is one six. Fractions are awesome. So I'm adding half of one third, which is one six, to the one third I already added. So I've now added three six. I'm better at math that involves letters. No. How many eggs are we adding? I know. I know. I know, but that was too much fun. Okay, so we're adding three eggs. Yeah. No space, no eggs. Three eggs. Huh? <laughs> yes! Happy <laughs> eggs! Oh, I didn't hear a picture of my Easter eggs. I made my little broken Easter egg. Oh! Yeah, it came out really bad. Our office is filled with bronies. <laughs> I accept this with confusion. No, I accept this. Okay, I'm being told no, to no, 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 not. They're uh, correcting him. I'm checking the, the <laughs> Q&A app. You are welcome to send us messages. <laughs> no, I, I can't do it from this computer. So Tom Nathy is saying, "Pa, metric is for wimps." I like this guy. <laughs> Helga is saying, "I want cake." If you were here, we'd give it to you. Uh, Guido is saying, "Yay for metric!" I love the fact that there is metric versus imperial units battle going on. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> and poor Gita saying, I have absolutely no idea what an ounce is. I don't either, usually. It's okay. I think an ounce is. An ounce is what a penny weighs or something? No, it's not. No, a gram is what a penny weighs. It's also weight. It gets used for both. But what ounces and other ounces are different? All you said was ounce, and it was water. And water, one ounce, is identical whether it's. Tom Navy says, well, Tom Navy says, wow fraction. I have to like jump between computers. Wow fractions and not those who's movie schoolwork. Of course we're going to use this to educate. It's us. 
<laughs> and somebody said something in some kind of Arabic script I can't read. Okay, just, can someone find us a giant extension cord? So, so this is me realizing that while we have the cake pop maker that came from Target, we can put it near the. We, 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 we have orange extension cords. I know. I always feel So the, the great thing about working in this resource center is just like any science teacher who comes here can find, borrow, buy if it's a, a consumable just about anything they need for science in the classroom, we can also find just about anything we need for science on the inner tubes. It's a wonderland. It's really a wonderland. <laughs> go see the Learning Space episode. Yeah, go watch Learning Space. We've, we've <laughs> we done a lot. We've done a whole bunch of demos on my desk. For Okay, I'm gonna go get more paper towels to put these on. So the next I love how me and Pamela baking turns into tiny intern baking and us watching and running around. <laughs> 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 because I bake all the time. It's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, I stare suspiciously. I live in a hundred year old house with a stove that feels like it's almost as old because it vaguely kind of sort of works. Anyways, so what we're going to do now is tiny intern is going to apparently whip the bejesus out of this batter. We're going to sort how to plug in the pop maker. I don't know what we're doing. Joe uh, jo just keeps handing me extension cords. Can I plug this in now? Or is yes, it, it needs to pre warm. Oh, let me see. Um, and then as the cake pops come out, the mistake I made last year was trying to frost things that were still hot, and that doesn't work. Nope. So I'm going to go find surfaces that we can swap out in the refrigerator. So as they come out of the pop maker, they're going to go into the refrigerator that does not contain lab chemicals. You should just find some dry out. I'm being told we can just go find dry out, but that requires leaving the building. Yeah. We're not going to do that. We have to go over to the science building. So, so while the pop maker oh, that could have actually happened? Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, well, we didn't have foresight. Apparently, we're difficult to hear. Apparently, we're what? Difficult to hear, especially oh. when we're, because the, the mic is there. Oh, OK. Um, I'm not projecting enough. Yeah. The tables are on wheels. I just put the fork in the side. Okay. Okay. The tables are on wheels, right? Yeah. <laughs> are they locked? Inside of this I have a bad feeling about this. What? They came here. It was it was a moment for a Star Wars quote. Yes. Okay. So, can you hear us now? This isn't fair. I keep getting dragged back into these feeds. I'm at work right now. I can't resist the call. Oh, no. Thank Don't you for joining from us. From Jersey. <laughs> okay, so we will work not to turn our backs on you. I'm so sorry we were doing that. And we will project, and we've moved the table. I'm sorry, I don't have a remote mic. And we're in a really echoey room. The crazy history of this room is we got bumped out of our old building so that they could do things like remove asbestos, which we're a fan of. So while they're redoing our old building, they had to put us somewhere temporarily. So the chain of events that occurred was the kinesiology department, the, the people who like figure out how to like do fitness realistically and stuff. Yeah, be on this side facing the camera. Um, so, so they built the kinesiology people a great new wing, and we also went NCAA Division One, and they built things and stuff for them. And the offices they moved all of those people out of, we got moved into. So we're now in the gym building, <laughs> the Student Athletic Center, which is awesome. Says the person willing to do gym There's things. Access to a rock climbing wall. Like, See? how cool is that? <laughs> okay, I ride a horse. Um, so, so the room that we're in now is a former wrestling room, where or a former weight room used by the wrestlers. So it's a really big echoey room, um, not designed to do audio and video. Anyways, I can smell that the cake pop thing is now about warm. Ah, it. Yes, it's gone green. We are ready at any moment. Okay. 
now we need a spoon. That cabinet's joke. <laughs> Telgus is an ounce. It's about 30 milliliters. What else do we have? Oh, and Chris Kennedy is cooking along with us. Yay! Oh, and no, we don't have an electric mixer. We have Tanya and Turn. <laughs> who's, who's honestly so much better at so many different things than... I don't know what just happened. I've gotten hot because it's hot things. Right, but I don't understand the, the flailing that just popped by. Okay. Okay. So what is going to happen is we are going to cook these however many fit in this container at a time. Six at a time. And I'm going to ferry them to the refrigerator. And I'm now going to ironically spray the cake pop maker with Pam. Uh, we get no funding from them. Paper towels need to go on. Don't ever call her Pam. She doesn't like it. <laughs> okay. She goes, I'm not a cooking spray. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, I get it. Pam. Because tablet. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. So I don't think we need it. <laughs> this from the girl who only recently figured out why Monopoly is called Monopoly. <laughs> I'm the intern you hired. Why would you this? Fail. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have a bunch of comments in a language I don't speak. Yes, that's fine. Um, okay. No, that's fine. So our goal. There's a goal. There's a goal. Our goal is to create gorgeous, stunning, round objects of cake that we would make, maybe, look like planets. I tried doing this live on the Hangout on Air last year, on the Hangout Fun we did the first time, and failed in the most spectacular of ways. Can I ask why you picked molding chocolate instead of food color? <laughs> Just because it's supposed to be a crunchy outside. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So I was, I was like, but but food color would be easier because you could just paint. <laughs> so so I have um, candy melts. There we go. That's why I did something something. I have candy melts in brown. Okay. They're mint chocolate and smell really good. Really baking. How long do those monstrosities stay? From a box. You tell it changes color again. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's from a box. Is it really baking? <laughs> it's fine. This, this is baking. This is how I bake. You know, the last time I baked for real, like from scratch yeah. baked, it was supposed to make 24 cookies and I ended up with 63. So I didn't own enough baking sheets to make all of those cookies happen at one time. Ooh, it's not pretty. It was, it was, it was doing Kermit flail. Nobody got the Kermit flail. I got the Kermit flail. There's now also a Will Wheaton flail on the internet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a Will Wheaton doll in my office. Watching him be angry about hockey is really fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. Angry about what? Hockey. Why was he angry? I, the Kings were doing poorly. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I got to be right again about hockey this year. <laughs> we're going to screw it up. Okay. So I'm going to work on... What? What? I'd like to comment and come over here and read it. It's a bit like an alternative version of the Big Bang Theory from an exoplanet called Big Dick Pam. <laughs> I want to go to there. <laughs> okay. So me and my inability to cook is going to read the instructions on how to microwave these. Oh, they're colored. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's mint chocolate to warn you. Okay. The mint sometimes confuses people. So it says microwave method. In microwave safe container, these count. Microwave one package. This was not an entirety of a package. At 50% power. I don't know if a microwave can do okay. that. Or defrost Yes, setting. we can. Okay. Because my lean cuisines are need, need that. <laughs> That's how I know. Stir thoroughly. Okay. I wasn't listening. Do you want to be in charge of nicking? One package. It's <laughs> not a package. Who does it? No, it's not. Do we put them all in? Sure. Yeah, let's put them all in. Okay. Is that what it's 
nacho made of bunny. I'm just going to keep it on there. Use the microwave. Wait, something I'm soda. very good at. So when you overfill the little pop holder thingies, you end up with, I'm going to totally burn myself. Yes, you are. They're very hot. You end up with Saturn. Except Saturn has a very lopsided ring system. It's, it's so. beautiful, Saturn. <laughs> so for those of you who didn't hear Tiny in turn, because her face is baking down close to the cake machine instead of close to the mic, it's beer belly Saturn. It's a bit asymmetrical and portly on one side. I love that word. <laughs> or just loving your left side. So while she refills that, I'm going to hand these to Joe. I'm going to remove this little piece and stuff. Tara. Those can go in the refrigerator. I'm going to need another thing of paper towels when you come back. So the reason we're putting these in the refrigerator is I made a fatal error at this point yesterday of trying to stabby each of them with the white popsicle sticks while they were still warm, and then tried to coat them in meltable candy coating while they were still warm, which really means that the candy coating just went straight off of them. It was all rather horrifying. So I'm going to learn from last year's horrible experience. If you watch Cupcake Wars, there's a reason they have industrial sized refrigerators on that television show. This is why. Having never watched, where did it, oh, you just put them straight in. Okay. Having never watched any of these cooking shows, the closest I've come to watching a cooking show is watching the one where the dude travels the world eating horrifying things. <laughs> um, yeah. Doesn't count. No. It was hot. I burned myself. It's okay. So this is why scientists need humanities majors. So we don't burn ourselves? <laughs> no, so yeah. the humanities majors burn themselves for you. <laughs> What? So why is it taking so long? And you have to just keep staring. Sure, if you want me to start all solid things that won't go together well, because this one's mint chocolate, because this one just I think, white chocolate. Yeah, it's not actually chocolate, fun fact. No, I, I think most of these are, are simply flavored and vanilla. Yeah, all the flavors go fine together. It's vanilla, chocolate, and mint chocolate, so we aren't making hideous tasting cake <laughs> So, <laughs> Joe and Nicole are now over there stirring the candy coating to try and get it to a good texture. We are waiting for the next round of cake pops to pop. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Don't even care. <laughs> they said the whole package. And Joe and Nicole are making fun of one another like siblings. We sibling well here at the Stone Center. Brothers. Do you want to introduce yourself on air? Yeah, I'm on the air. Right now. <laughs> you want to be loud? My name is Linda. <laughs> so, so this is Linda. She's one of our student workers. Uh, she is one of the people that uh, basically helps get teachers the stuff they need. So when teachers come in and they say, we need foo, and she goes and she finds foo and she checks it out and keeps things running smoothly so that better education happens. She's awesome. Yes. So it's chill. High five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, sure. And as always, food attracts undergrads. So you're going to be like ready to dip it in the thing because that doesn't last long. Oh, uh, go go get a bowl of hot water using Nicole, you are Nicole, using Dawn's hot water maker. Don't want to do that. I'll just like a bowl that won't melt. Yeah. Do what? Yeah, you know, we have a thing right here. Oh, then make hot water in the thing. Why do we need the hot water? Because if you put them in hot water, they stay not melted. It makes it or not solidified. I really am not safe in the kitchen. Okay, you babysit the microwave. I'll get the water. I am not domesticated, is the way my husband puts it. I'm going to make sure she's fed very well this evening for doing this, and not just cake pops. There will be Mexican food involved. <laughs> okay, looking at comments. Um, can you take some photos of the final results later? Only the video stream is kind of lo-fi, probably because of the campus in the internet. Audio is good, though. Yes, we will be taking photos of the final results. Um, I'm actually pretty good with the final results now. It was just the first time we did them in a hangout on air. Kind of totally really sucked. Um, 
But it was probably hilarious for all involved, so it's cool. <laughs> and Tom writes, are you using Earthquake? Thanks, Gary Larson. No, no, we're not. But, um, <laughs> And then there's the comment, the audience wants to be stirred, not shaken. Um, <laughs> and uh, Hugo writes, apparently, um, so this is me, so, so apparently the beer belly on Saturn um, is because, as Hugo puts it, that'll be the new moon that Cassini discovered causing the distortions of Saturn's ring. Slowly, slowly. You realize the obscene number of cake pops that this much batter is going yes. to make, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go put these in the refrigerator and leave you in the fine hands of tiny intern who I'm going to remind to be loud. I'm not good at being loud. I am. Thanks, Nicole. Okay. So we're gonna go let those bake more. How how are we refrigerating those? I thought the refrigerator was full. Yeah. It's not. Cool. I thought we had a full refrigerator. We don't, apparently, so that works no, out. Because they threw out some of the stuff. Oh, okay. There was never, that fridge had so much just stuff oh, collecting in it. Uh, yeah, there was abandoned food. I just threw it out last week. I got sick of looking at it. Okay. Uh, We've done those. The light isn't being green anymore, but they can't possibly be done already. Okay, yes. Uh, Tom, we will take plenty of photographs uh, since, yeah, we are on the Wi-Fi, which is always a little bit slower, so the uh, resolution is not great. So we'll definitely be taking photographs and sharing as well. So, oh, Guido, Guido said that. Thank you. We will do that. <laughs> and Cassini. Hi, Colin. Hey. Hey. Sorry. Come say hello. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was in the way. No, not at all. This is uh, Colin Wilson. Come on over. So I, I did plug our earlier Learning Space episode where we talked about the STEM oh, Resource Center and all the fun stuff we have here. Uh, um, we didn't cook anything, though. I'm out of paper towels. Oh, so. Help. So this is Colin. Go check out our Learning Space episode. <laughs> Run, you heels. Don't do that. Don't die. I need you. <laughs> you need any uh, temperature probes or anything? <laughs> no. Those are, those are not done yet? No, okay. those are not done yet. Is this one done? Okay. <laughs> so the reason I went and got this crazy this crazy basket is because the crazy basket, can I see your thing? Thing. Will allow us to to stand up the cake pops while they solidify when they're covered in the candy coating. Apparently this is a whole very secret. I thought I was doing pretty well. Come on. <laughs> The rest of us that are a hilarious train wreck. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we're going to At least we're entertaining you. Thank you have you. to give us that. We can teach you science. We can't teach you. Maybe she can. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't burned my own kitchen down yet, so there's that. Yes. Yet is the key word in that sentence. Okay. So, you want to pull first and then you can the way back? What? Do you, not my first, the refrigerator out. Whoop. And when you have hot water, turn it into the pan. Hold in there. Or something. Yes. The goal is to put the little bowls in the water. Right. So, Camilla okay. okay. actually said, we don't have a measuring cup. Look briefly. We're in the resource center. These, these are still warm, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to Just go. Just load them all onto one plate and put them back in the refrigerator. Is there a freezer part in this refrigerator at all? What, they're not contraption. Cold. Oh, duh. Yeah, there's a freezer contraption. That's where I put my frozen dinner. Put them okay. in the freezer part. This, this is the stabby thing to hold them up after oh. I like make them and stop. I took the purple bowl over there. Oh my god. Put the cake pops in the freezer part and just keep transferring them onto the same plate. This is Vesta. Its butt has been smashed in through a collision in its past and it has wrinkle ridges around its middle. That is all. 
Perks to living in St. Louis in the winter when you're baking, you can bake stuff and then just put it on your porch for like half an hour. Yeah, totally. And then you can ice it because it's it's 30 degrees below zero constantly. So I'm about to, with a not cold enough like cake pop, I've stabbed it with the the. And you have to put chocolate around the bar too, or it'll slide down. Yeah. So you have to stick it there. So I have um, melted. This is a combination of chocolate pieces. And <laughs> I can hear Nicole and Joe arguing in the background. Um, I have made a mixture of chocolate and red, which is white chocolate with red food coloring. And I have made a very lumpy asteroid. So the way I'm making my lumpy asteroid is I put the melted chop, the melted candy coating into a spoon. I am dipping the cake pot in the spoon. Oh, Jesus, they're cords. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm now going to add. What color should I add next? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just don't spill the water. It's just try to be a white. Okay, so I'm now going to. No one can see. Actually, into Iopetus. You have to turn around. Why aren't you on the other side of the dining table? That's why I pulled it out. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> Hi, Internet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I am Oops. a New Yorker. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> She's also making. You took my towel. I did. I did. She's also making apparently um, plate like tectonic crust. Things. Okay, so I'm making this actually into Iopetus instead of into uh, using my words into Vesta because I was told to add white. So Iopetus has a <laughs> white section and a dark section. Why? Why? Have you ever seen My Drunk Kitchen? Yeah. Okay. Tom Brady said this is My Drunk Kitchen meets astronomy. We're stone cold We're totally sober. sober. That's the scary part. Why are I mean, you standing on your chair? I want to see if I Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're stone cold so sober. That's is, the scary part. This horrifying thing is Iopetus. Wow. All right. I love my staff. They this make fun of me. This horrifying thing is Iopetus is a future cosmos. <laughs> I finally figured out to use the dowels like chopsticks, and now I'm not burning myself anymore. So that's oh, that's way. awesome. Okay, do we have any of these that aren't hot? Ooh, we had a suggestion. Well, I don't think we have any gummy worms, but uh, I come over here. Fal Falconio suggests we use gummy worms to make the rings. If we had gummy worms, we would do that. I agree. Gummy worms to make the secret ecosystem under the ice of Europa. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I'm now going to attempt to make Jupiter. This could go terribly, terribly wrong and most likely will. I am scroll with brown red. Yeah, I'm currently taking the, the brown red mix and spinning and discovering that if you change the moment of inertia too much, it spins on its own. I'm now taking the white. I'm enjoying the comment from Hugo saying, it's so enlightening to see planets formed in less than half an hour. Pamela's always telling us it takes millions of years. Yeah, put, a put a spatula in her hand and planetary systems abound. Lies my teacher told me. Yeah. <laughs> Lies my astronomer told me. Um, so I now oh, have... Oh, you're Jupiter? Yeah. Oh, .com. Yes, I, I so I now have a little bit of white. And now I'm taking the darker brown. I didn't actually make any pure red, and I don't think I have enough space to keep the pure red melted. Is there a red blob on it? Yeah, well, sort of. We have more bowls. We have more bowls. Use the light blue bowl, and I have another glass bowl right here. So go make me have more hot water. Chop, chop. Stop things. Chop, chop. All right, I'm bringing my computer over here. So. Okay. Uh, so I'm now trying to get the bottom chocolate. Wow, this is horrifying. Falconio says, delicious. we are drunk on science? Yeah, maybe. Uh, gummy worms equals strings. I'm, I'm thinking string theory from Tom. Uh, Chris Kennedy says, 
need to invest in smell vision <laughs> It does smell delicious in here. It really, really does. Can you can you use this glass bowl right here to go make bread? <coughs> Thank you. Falconio says, does this make pop side? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm wearing chocolate. What? I need more hot water. Don't wear chocolate. Oh my God. Pretty I know. I'm so demanding. An evil. Yes. Oh, wait. One more. I wanted to share. Rio said, whoever wanders into that room right now is going to be very, very surprised. We did have some confused looking uh, customers up at the front desk getting some supplies for their classrooms. So, so really, I think people have stopped being surprised because this room used to be a wrestling room and we still get people walking through the door brazenly looking for the wrestling room. Wait room. Weight room, I'm being told, and instead they encounter science. So it is what it is. And, and what it is is awesome. The wrestling room is next door, and it's still there. <laughs> My gas giant. It's kind of sad. <laughs> This is why we didn't do this live on air this year during the hangout of fun, and I'm so glad that I'm not doing it by myself like I did last year. Okay, I stabbed that one a little bit, my bad. It's okay, it's just an asteroid. If it gets too deformed, it's an asteroid. Oh, Jupiter is trying to come off of its stick. How? It's did you stabbing did you all the way through. The yeah. Then it was still too long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so this plate is full and that can go to the freezer. Okay. I'm just going to hold this until it solidifies. I'm not quite sure what else to do right now because if I put it down, it's going to go crashing down and we're going to end up with candy coating all over this beautiful basket. So I'm just going to hold my deformed gas giant. I like how the extent of my baking has been answering comments. <laughs> Please, continue answering. Well, no, you helped make candy coating. Sure. I boiled water. Valid. <laughs> yes, we have cookie We have uh, planetesimal debris that did not become parts of the planet. These are your... Uh, Asteroids and meteoroids in the solar system. I have decided. Here, you want to hold my deformed gas giant? <laughs> I told you it was deformed. About the post for Jupiter? Yeah, I failed. I'm going to try again. I'm trying to make this not small. Yeah, you have to hold it at. Jesus. What are you doing? I was going to push it up so that it not like you want to push it on the floor. That would be hard to clean up. I'm not going to push it I have problems with physical reality. It's so much easier to make these in a virtual space. Remember when we were talking about the care and feeding of your astronomers? Yeah. That will be an actual video, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for the script. So I am starting by making this one mostly white because making it mostly brown and stripey to begin with did not work so well. So try two. And and this is have you guys seen the Pinterest fails where people like post recipes? Nailed it. Yeah. No. Yeah. This is one of those. Oh my god. That's where you will see this on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah. Because we we did have requests for pictures. Yeah. It's the and we'll make them like super artsy high class pictures anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I did bring my camera to work today. Oh, seriously, yay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Way better than me trying to answer all my emails. <laughs> so I learned that you really do have to chocolate the butt of it or it doesn't work. <laughs> With the dark brown. Chocolate, chocolate the butt of it. <laughs> okay, so there is its south pole vortex. So what am I? I'm bored now. Okay, you're when you're putting some stripes on it, yeah. Are you touching the spoon too when you do it? I'm bored now. <laughs> no, I'm just spinning and dribbling with okay, the stick. Okay, that's kind of say like get a lot and then just kind of smoosh it off with 
the line. She's in sploosh. <laughs> stop making fun of me. I <laughs> can stop now. Archer fans. <laughs> I don't watch Archer. What are you talking about? Sploosh. <laughs> this is where I remind you, she's the intern. I know. She's of age. She is. She's of 18. I, I. We feed her ginger beer. <laughs> or orange soda. Maybe we had a ginger beer left. I was ginger beer. Jordan was orange soda. Jordan had orange soda in a champagne glass. It was adorable. It hurts. <laughs> I put Dr. Pepper in a wine glass before. I put too much chuck in a wine glass before. <laughs> You're corrupting the audience. <laughs> this gas giant is slightly better. Sure, than you the last guys one. are pretty corrupt without our help. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> that one. You're really good, good at like genius. individual storm, not so much ordered striking fire. Let. <laughs> Give it to Joe to eat. <laughs> Can I have it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm done holding it. <laughs> okay, so if you wanna you wanna okay. make one. Okay. If we're eating, this is a good time to say if you guys can get help. I don't know. Okay, I am giving up and handing it over to Tiny in terms. Colin just offered to help by eating. <laughs> we don't have any blue. I was gonna make earth, but there's no blue. Okay. No, I forgot blue. So I'm gonna make my own earth. Make it a completely landy covered planet. <laughs> so, what is your laptop doing? This is my next experiment at making a gas giant. The universe does far better when it spends 300,000 years doing it than I do when I spend three minutes doing it. Somebody will call me. No, I'm sending my number to the students who are going to have help with us at the high school. Okay, so we still. Are we right now? No, uh, yeah, it should be just Ooh. finishing. It's better oh. high school. Uh oh. And the fighting board. Can I have something to put hot pops on? Uh, that, that plate. Oh, okay. Okay. So here are the cool ones. Escaping. Well, the planet fell over. Oh no! Okay. I keep walking in the wrong way. There's no signal. Oh, one of our ironies is. Will that happen? It's okay. Now you understand my reality. Okay. Larger land mass. It's yes, okay. You want to go refrigerate? Kind of like a thing. Just don't belong to the place that's already refrigerated. What are you making? What? What are you making? A thing. <laughs> She's making a thing out of stuff. I made, I made a bead out of the clay that was in the crafting box in your attic yesterday. So I feel morally required to point out right now that while the 36-hour hangout is over, we have now gone into the 36-day extended fundraising effort. Um, you can continue to donate, although if you're watching now, I suspect you already have. So really, we love you. You can stop donating because we love you. But if you can like help us find what we really need is corporate donors, business donors, angel donors. Um, and we need you to do science. So if all of you listening who have already donated can go do science in another window while still watching this, and email us at cosmoquestx at gmail.com or info at cosmoquest.org. If you know of a small business, a corporation, an angel donor who's in a position to help us. We are making ourselves look really stupid on the internet. Like you do. Like you do. Because we want to keep doing science. And right now we're getting to talk about Iapetus is light and bright. Jupiter has stormy rings. Planetary masses have areas 
I'm not going to go into that one. It was made by the humanities major. What? That's so mean. <laughs> it's made by the humanities major. It is therefore irrelevant. But, but we want to keep doing what we're doing, and we can keep doing what we're doing more, and we can do more science if you donate so we can spend less time begging, and if you've already donated, go do science. Those are smoking. These are smoking? Yes. What? Oh, I just overfilled them radically. Oh, okay. I'm not to be oh. trusted. Um, so, anyways, cosmoquest.org slash lowercase hangout the fun. How is what it's saying? <laughs> you overfilling the thing. Oh, what you like confidence. Yeah. See, humanity of nature totally did better than us. <laughs> um, frosting cubes have been suggested for making stripes. Yes. Does that work with stuff that solidifies into candy? Your hands will keep it warm enough to keep it liquid while you're going. Oh, that's awesome. Thermodynamics. Thank you, Frosty. So what she just pointed out is your hands are warm enough to keep it warm enough that it doesn't solidify inside the squeezy thing. Um, so what's happening is your body burns your food to create body heat, and then you transfer the body heat to the candy to keep the candy warm. And you just have not enough of a baking nerd to have actual frosting yeah, tubes. You can use the flip bag and just warm. You're about to be on camera to the entirety of the internet. Okay. Well, I'll play them. Yeah, all 20 of them. Okay, don't breathe on those. I'm not going to breathe on them. Not a problem. Those should be cooler. Yes. Right, so green and blue will give us um, do we have a screen? the red needs more nucleus. Request for green and blue to make Uranus or Neptune. We don't. I forgot to have blue. blue. I we can do green and paler green. So, so the reason that Uranus and Neptune are blue is because they're filled with ammonia. Oh, really? And yeah. Cool. So I'm trying to read last thing. You're so funny. <laughs> we are not going to decorate our cake pops with ammonia. Oh, that's right. I put that in my comment. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what would need to be. So Mars, Mars is not that shade of red. We are family. We are family here. We're alive. Hi, Jordan. Hi. Nope, nope. You're coming over here. You're making one. You're not getting out of it. Make a cake pop. Here's Jordan. If you screw it up. He's you're one of our Dragon Con booth helpers. Putting a stabby thing in it, and then you're putting chocolate on it. We've determined we don't have planet making colors in our chocolate, so we're just kind of making things that look like planet that could be. We can make all the asteroids in the world. We have tons of chocolate. And uh, this is Jordan. He's my little big brother. Uh, As opposed to Joe, who's her big big brother. Yeah. Is that how we're doing things now? That makes Jordan the middle child. Aww. That means no one loves him. I, I love Jordan. I love me. Falconio says that uh, because they're gas giants, they'll never solidify. So don't worry about it. <laughs> How do we not have a Mars yet? I was trying with that one. I was trying to mix them, but the red wasn't melty enough. Yeah, yet. so the so. red went back into the microwave. Stabby thing. So apparently, when you buy the cheapest cake pop maker that they have at Target, all of your cake pops come out asymmetric no matter how much cake batter you put into the cake pop thing. So according to the IAU, none of them are flat. This one's okay. <laughs> but it's not round. So yeah, we've created a whole lot of Vestas. Or something that's rotating really expletive fast, because if something's rotating really fast, it flattens. So I'm just going to keep making Oh no, it's flattening, it's flattening. Shields. <laughs> There's a fork in the bottom of this. Yes. My bad. There's a fork in the bottom of this. The fork fell. Okay. <laughs> I've got this. Okay. So what do I do with that? I don't think I've made um, a single cake pop yet. I'm just well, wandering around being annoying. Yeah. But it's more fun to wander around and be annoying. That's how I felt about playing Kerbal. <laughs> Kerbal was fun. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get sucked into that. So the website to learn more about our fundraiser is cosmoquest.org slash lowercase hangoutathon. I'll make the upper place one work at some point. It just hasn't happened yet. Um, 
and we're trying to raise money to support our programs here at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville where we have the build team for CosmoQuest. We, we are going to be starting a new citizen science project for Mars. We want to do more apps, more teacher professional development. We want to be able to say yes when scientists and teachers come to us saying they have great ideas for educational programs and science programs. When you help us find corporate business and angel donors, which is what I'm asking for now, when you help us find people with large pockets of money, it helps us say yes to more people who want to do science, who want to learn, who want to do. And we'll be able to spend more time doing science and less time accumulating ourselves, making science Baking badly on the Yeah, baking badly on the internet as we try and inspire people about science. Do the things out of my control, I need more red. <laughs> Do the We're not thing. talking about it. Uh, okay. I need more red. We're not talking about it. Do the things out of his control. In other words, because of reasons. Because he actually, during his master's defense, at one point said, I kid you not, he said, I selected phone gap, long pause, shuffle, shuffle, look at feet, look up, because reasons. And Nicole and I almost lost our shit. Yeah. It was, Joe, we love you. That and was I still passed. <laughs> he did still pass with what was the shortest master's report I've ever seen. But the project that he did for his master's thesis was our Earth or Not Earth app. And there's no our. It's his. <laughs> it's his Earth or Not Earth app done to support learning things for CosmoQuest. So um, go to the iTunes store, go to the Play Store, look for the Earth or Not Earth app. It's being transported. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Hi. It's really not always like this. Usually yes, like it this. is. No, it's yes, usually it only is. like this on Friday. <laughs> it's usually only like this on, well, yeah, those two are always like that. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan doesn't work for us, so it's okay. <laughs> Jordan does volunteer for us regularly. That's true. Yeah, I'm so. just going to mush. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Volunteer is why he has a choice. He does have a lobe. He does have a choise. <laughs> Others, you're just pressed the surface. Yeah. Press game. Well, it's like with Tim. If he wants to come to DragonCon with us, he's going to have to work at the booth. That's just how it works. <laughs> Tim is her significant other. He gets volatile. Volatile? <laughs> ah. So, oh. Oh. so, in a perfect I world, they, how they, put them in the thing. I can't do this. In a perfect world, in a world, in a world where pig pops solidify quickly because the air conditioner is on high, not the world we live in where we're actually slightly hot, That's not bad here. the cake pops stab in nicely, stay upright, solidify quickly, and do not slide down their sticks. I'm breaking. I still don't know how I managed to not get any of you sick when I got pneumonia. I think it because we all ran a hit. Well, there's that. There's that. Don't come say hi to the internet. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was the agreement. Don helps. Don never appears on camera. <laughs> does Does Don want to take a failed planet away with her? Really good tell. I will bring it to you so you don't have to panic. I will bring it to yeah. you because I need to find paper towels anyway. Okay. Levi, yeah. would you give her paper towels, please? <laughs> I know where they are. I don't know where they are. No, you would have used to know where they are. Yes, but you should know. <laughs> so, so I, I am just going to keep doing a really bad job at this. So, dear internet, we will stop as soon as I think we've turned all the batter into things, because then I feel legitimately like we can kind of walk away and inflict the cake bits on undergrads and other members of staff, but mostly undergrads, because they're tiny and young and still burn calories quickly. <laughs> and I think this is evidence that we will do almost any task in the name of teaching okay, science. You really need to be careful when you tell the internet that. I said almost, almost. 
Almost was in there. We're almost was in there, and it has a lot of teaching science. There's a lot we won't do. There is a lot we won't do, There's but a lot we will do. if it is a standard way of teaching something, <laughs> like cake pops, which people who actually know how to bake make really well, we have some pictures of good if ones. On Pinterest, on Pinterest. We'll if it's on Pinterest, we'll, we'll attempt it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Probably this looks pretty. See, that one's solidifying pretty well. Yeah. That's the first one. That's Iapetus. Oh, it's the first one? It's okay. the first one. Well, I, never mind. Well, the next one's coming along pretty good, too. My, my Jupiter rendition of weirdness. See, I think that one's pretty. I think I ate that one. No, no, no. You ate somebody else's. No, you ate the other failed Jupiter. No, I ate the second. Yeah, yeah it, it decided it was more interested in being consumed. We pammed my phone. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> her, her phone is now non-stick. Yeah, I, I, I. yeah I, that, that, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you want to explain about Chuck? So Captain Chuck McFlufferbutt is <laughs> our, our, our adopted mascot, adopted from the My Moon, My Moon folks with JPL, right? No, Lunar Planetary Institute. Oh, yeah, thank you. Other, the other acronym I can't remember with a P in it. Uh, Lunar Planetary Institute, um, which uh, Andy Shaner was on our first Hangout-a-thon uh, with his Chuck, this part of his Chuck the Squirrel suit. He goes around in this like legit squirrel suit <laughs> and does outreach because who isn't doesn't look immediately when there's like a big guy in a squirrel costume. So anyway, Chuck the Squirrel is their mascot. Chuck appears on all of their like things. Um, so we got our own Chuck to go along with Moon Mappers Project. But Chuck has expanded his citizen science horizons to include all the all the Mappers projects. Um, so Chuck comes along to different events with us. Um, sit him on the table. Sometimes he's holding a little sign that says "Squirrels Love Citizen Science," um, and this is this is <laughs> something that um, this is also something I did a lot when I was a Dark Sky Sprite kid. When you bring a furry mascot with you, it totally gets attention from children and adults, <laughs> especially especially uh, flight attendants <laughs> when the, the thing is too like this is tiny. Uh, we had some oh. like we had a large bee uh, for one of our Dark Sky Sprite kids clubs. So um, yeah, it's 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 an attractive little hey, check out the squirrel, check out the science kind of thing, uh, and it's fun to have a mascot. So we had somebody do Chuck artwork for us as well. Yes, and we will be starting to use that more. One of the things I asked Lindsay to do that will be premiering slowly but surely this week is um, create mottos for Chuck, and one of them that has driven all of us slightly crazy, but mostly me is she found a scrap of aluminum foil and she made a wee burrito with the aluminum foil. And, and yeah, come here. Uh, just let you know we're on the internet right now, if you don't mind. Oh, that's up to you. Just here. to let you know before you wash okay. the front of it. You may eat a planet. Thank yes. you. Do eat a planet. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> that was one of our graduate students who just popped in and fed. <laughs> yes. Um, so, <laughs> So, so Lindsay made a um, little tiny burrito mm -hmm. and figured out how to attach it to, to Chuck and then had Chuck holding in his other paw a little sign that said, um, science, do it for burritos or something like it was that. Burritos, fueling science. Burritos, fueling science. I All I apparently remember is the burrito part, and it has led to going to Quidoga several times. Again, they don't fund us. They do fuel us occasionally. So I'm now going to attempt to make Mars. Lord only knows how well this will work. They want to know, uh, when we wait to intern, do we report what her weight would be on Jupiter, so it sounds like she weighs me then. We should. We should. Can we report what I'd weigh on Mars? Sure. Actually, we're never going to report what I weigh. I have some dignity. Weight doesn't matter. So what would I weigh on Jupiter? I don't, I don't know the scales. You want to pull up a calculator? Uh, yeah. No, Nicole, she's at a keyboard. You are making delicious things that the rest of us fail slightly at. 
Uh, As if I don't. What do you actually weigh now? 87? Okay. Wow. Yeah, that. This is why we raise money for the care and feeding of tiny interns. I'm like three of them. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm almost two of them. You would weigh 200, you would weigh 220 pounds on Jupiter. <laughs> and uh, Joe's dying because Joe is still bigger than tiny intern. <laughs> Tiny intern would weigh 220 pounds on Jupiter. So there you go. <laughs> OK, so do you want to add volcanoes and Valles Marinars to Mars? Sweet. <laughs> and no, I can't say it right without it sounding like a Mexican, not a Mexican, an Italian. Oh term. my god. And prosciutto to drink. Yeah, I was tired. What can I say? So for those of you who weren't on live when this happened, what's wrong with you? At <laughs> what's wrong with you? At one point during the Hangoutathon, um, I commented on how I had just put two bottles of prosciutto into the refrigerator just to drink during our final hour. What I meant to say was prosecco, which is white sparkling wine from Italy. And this, because I was completely unaware of the wrong word that I said, led to many comments about how we were going to be drinking ham to celebrate our success. Look, look, Tharsis Bulge. Okay. There's three, vol three big volcanoes in Tharsis awesome. Bulge. Damn you. And, and there's Valis Marineris. See? Valis Marineris and Tharsis Bulge with three volcanoes. Do you want to ask something with color, or is that asking too much? I can try. Okay. Valles Mar Marinars mix in a little bit of the brown, and the volcanoes are lighter colored. They have lower albedo. Albedo talks about the, re the reflectivity of something. So they actually have higher albedo, lighter color, um, because they're more shiny. Listen to her trying to science. I'm trying to science and cook. She's trying to science. Well, OK, she's properly sciencing. I'm trying to art. I science better than I art. And I'm a pretty good artist. Just when it's digital. When there are pixels involved. When there's pixels involved. Nerd. 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 You don't you. have a ton of room to talk, bro. Nerd. Nerd. You are almost as digital as I am. Nerd. Yeah, the nerd who left us to go on a raving party. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> you now get to see the inner life of the CosmoQuest build team. <laughs> We're awesome, I think you mean. We're and great. and I think you can see why I occasionally say, damn it, go home and get something done, because being at work is way too much fun. And that sounded sarcastic and it was sincere. No, it really is sincere. I love this place. I just shut my office door. That doesn't stop me. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, I lock my office door. Yeah, he can use my keys. Yeah, no, he why does he ask me for my keys all the time, man? Because your keys will get him into my office. There's Tharsis Bulge like again. The and then there's the Valles Marineris. I make Mars. I make pretty. Okay. Can you use that one? Someone want to, you, can you, someone do the basket part? I found it really at that. I can do the basket part. I just found miserably at all the other parts. I can't even do the stabbing part. <laughs> I can't do the stabbing. There we go. Ah, Iopetus fell over. Oh no. Must fix Iopetus. Nope. Iopetus decided to collide with. Do you want to grab the camera? What the heck? <laughs> you lost another one. <laughs> okay. Crap out of her. It's a nice video to have queued up the brand. Okay. <laughs> I think that this one isn't a planet so much as it's Myra. It's gonna, it's or a comet. This is a comet. I'll leave it. <laughs> okay, good, because I don't know how no, to. No, throw it at him like a comet. Yeah, fine. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this cake everywhere. <laughs> okay, so oh, these, these are warm. Can we have a couple more cool ones? Oh, we have a couple more cool ones. So keep keep going. I'm making. 
Nicole. And don't forget there's red and brown over here. Look at that. Come make another make make a, a red and cream so it's use up the red. We have less Don't of red. tell me that art. I'm just telling I'm trying to inspire you to use up the red. You're inspiring me to use the only too much of it. Yes. Are you leaving? Bye, Jordan. Bye. Bye. Um the live? Okay. I'll come back after class. That's smart. What? You put a stopper on it and you're letting the stopper cool. That's what I've been doing. I missed that. Oh. <laughs> that's why I kept saying put chocolate on the bottom of it. I, I do. Yeah, but then that's her to do a boob joke and we forgot. True. <laughs> <laughs> what what does the QA app say? I don't even want okay, to. Okay, I'll go look at the QA app. Okay, Tiny's got it. No, 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 no. Go to now, mine. Go now to new go on to this channel. Go to mine. Go to mine. Yours. Yours. She could control the comments from mine. I don't know how. I will do that. You look. You're better at that. Okay. Stoppers. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> As I mock the people who are doing things methodically and making us. What? Okay. Why did you let her fill it? <laughs> Can you hold it up? Can you hold it up to the camera? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you let the camera look like this? We all know. <laughs> I have problems, okay? <laughs> we still love you. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> this is, I have Google Glass. Um, <laughs> Falconio says, Rogue Planet, it's a rogue planet. It'll destroy us all. Yeah, I think that describes all of them. <laughs> Hugo says, coming up next week, Astronomy Cast 321, Baking Planets, How to Make Planets Out of Batter with Baker Kane and Pamela Trey. I like that one. Um, <laughs> so then we have um, A.C. Clark in the novel, 2001, A Space Odyssey called Iopetus Jepotidus. I can't, I, I, it's funny, I can't say it. Moving on. Yeah. Okay, how about you, Stabby, and I read? Yeah. But it's so much more fun to watch you make planets that have icicles. Here, here, just give me the planet of icicles. Take your laptop. All right. Gas giant looks good. I think I saw a great swirling spot. That was from earlier. Mm -hmm. The Kerbal waking. The per. <laughs> new on this, not new on this channel, the Kerbal Planet Baking Program. Oh god, this is going to my YouTube channel as well. <laughs> That's the fourth law of thermodynamics that was from earlier. <laughs> Are you doing Earthquake? What's Earthquake? It's a joke, like this quick. Uh -huh. Okay, this one, I tried to see the video, the Arkin bird, but my laptop is freaking out because I'm trying to do too many things. But I think I know what you're talking about, and thank you. Don't forget the hell is facing. Well, well, reasons. <laughs> oh, yes, a while ago we had, that'll be the new moon Cassini discovered because of the distortion in Saturn's ring. Yeah, we can do moons. Moons aren't necessarily spherical. The audience, oh. What? God's calling. He wants the planets back. <laughs> Apparently, yes, Joe is our guinea pig. Huh? Yeah, we're still on. Is it nice? <laughs> you are so generous. You are so generous. They look very edible. What she said. Okay. I, I feel more like I'm making cartoons that don't belong to either Marvel or DC, but rather to some indie brand that no one ever buys. This one isn't too bad. Are you guys making those too? What? What? <laughs> okay. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. What the hell happened to Iopetus? <laughs> oh, it ripped. Aww. How 
I'm gonna get the rest of it go though. I'm pretty sure someone like, took a bite and then put it back. Cause this lost map. <laughs> you. You. Oh, Colin's got his hand up. In the... <laughs> like wait, no, it's definitely missing math. It this was one science. came I was out trying to okay. Out what the color divide was about, uh, and I tried to drill down. Well, that's what we get for letting the geologist get by. Yeah. <laughs> The best way to study something is to drill into it and possibly bomb it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to eat this small piece. Okay, so you, you, you put a green ring on it. Mm -hmm. Are you going to need more to it? I'm waiting for it to get colder. Okay. She's smarter than we are. No, I'm not. Put a ring on it. She has more common sense than we do. Occasionally. And my horse likes her more than he likes me. She liked it, so she put a ring on it. There's one right there. Thanks. And there's, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Ring on it. Ooh, okay. Nicole gets to lick the spoon. Hi, Janice. Call me. Oh, there's a four. Okay. Looking at comments. Okay. Um, Cake nails, useful for picking up uh, hot things that are going to My mother loved that. She used to pick up the bacon. Yeah. So, so Tom, <laughs> Tom Nathan writes, and I thought we did this one earlier, but I'm still going to call attention to it. Writes, the audience wants to be stirred, not shaken. Well, we do try to stir you emotionally without shaking you physically. <laughs> and he goes on to say, and occasionally, science does get accomplished. Actually, we sign more often than anything else, but personally, because I'm the, the principal investigator, I find myself worrying about money more than worrying about science, and that makes me very sad. So please help make me less sad. Also, watching a science is kind of boring because it's us sitting in front of a computer typing. It's yeah. true. It's true. <laughs> watching us do this is much more fun. So, um, then it goes... I love how you're all popping today and sticking to it. You know, you may think this one is kind of weird, but I think it's pretty. I think it came out really well. That it just needed really to good. solidify. <laughs> Planetary creation is a team effort. It works better when just gravity does it. The rest of us tend to add a little bit too much friction to the process. <laughs> Guido writes, in the universe, where all planets are made out of cake, these would be absolutely perfect. It just needed movie man voice. Some things are just better in movie man voice. And anything that starts with in the. <laughs> Tom writes, speechless mode, laughing too hard. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I'm suddenly having flashbacks to the old life serial. Um, uh, commercials of give it to Mikey, he won't eat anything. And so there's there's one you're too young. There there there's one where Gita writes, give it to Joe to eat. <laughs> Joe is your guinea pig. Yes, Joe is our guinea pig today. Um, and now I've hit the ones that are in languages I don't speak. It's okay. But it looks hilarious. The squirrel is dubious. That's not dubious. I probably should have taken my rings off before doing this. This one actually came out really good, and I'm super pleased. And I'm going to go find my camera. Yes, like if you eat this one before I get back, you are going to be a dead man. No, I'm don't kill him. We need to do outreach tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I can help with the planetary. This needs to be photographed. Just I'll hold it. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. 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 So when you overfill it, you end up making a mess. <laughs> when you let Pamela touch it, you end up making a mess. <laughs> well, there's that ah. too. Are there some in here? Yes. Now you get to pull this. <laughs> <laughs> 
And when you let the intern fill it, she forgets about it and might burn them. <laughs> you have yet to burn them. I'm, I'm quite impressed. This one's round. This one's round, guys. We have a round one. Yes. We have a real planet. We have a real planet. It's not a meter. I need to put a meter on Do you need help carrying things? Honey, it weighs like three times as much as you do. I have carried that across campus with you guys before. That's true. What thing? Planetarium stuff. Oh, Just saying. Okay. Okay. There. Here. We're out of batter. We're now out of batter. By out of batter, you mean I can do the batter? Yes. Because <laughs> I'm not scraping the rest of that out to make more. <laughs> this is right, right? What? <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm gonna die. Okay, we have camera. Yeah, this, we need to add the nail to the meme. Okay. So photography is my hobby, which is really kind of like the best hobby you can choose to have if you're an astronomer. No, belly dancing is totally the best. I don't know, I kind of like horseback riding still. Oh. Ah. Ah. What up? Expletive you. You know, you already said an expletive. Yeah, but I didn't say the one that I was thinking at that moment. Mm -hmm. Some of these are prettier than others. Okay, we have 12, 16 that we haven't iced yet. Get to it. <laughs> Get to it, tiny answer. <laughs> we didn't. We don't just keep you around to look good. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> For those who, of you who didn't hear, Joe just said that he's around to look pretty. Joe's a pretty princess, guys. <laughs> it just goes. <laughs> pretty princess doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah. This one looks horrible. Yeah. There's no redeeming that one. Which one? This one from this angle looks truly terrible. The one we both did. It was a team effort to make it look that bad. This angle is a bit better. Oh, I'm starting to feel sick. Do I stop? No. This is actually what happens when Tim bakes, is I eat the frosting. Yeah, I'm bringing you and Tim a banana pudding soon. Hope you're cool with that. OK. Because <laughs> I want one, and it can't stay in my house, so you're going to get it instead. Tim and I, thank you. You need anything ah. to or from the freezer? Um, nah, they'll cool down by the time these are done. Okay. So, so yesterday we had tornadoes and stuff and things that scary bad was making fires going off yesterday. Today, here in the resource room, we're underneath one of the fitness things. And they've been pretty quiet. But it sounds like there's thunder upstairs. So is that what it is? Because I'm yeah. sitting here like actively trying not to freak out. Oh, I don't even know. No. <laughs> the, the ceiling is it physically shaking, so I don't know. That does happen occasionally. The intern is scared of storms beyond any sort of reason whatsoever. And lives in the Midwest. And lives in the Midwest. They don't understand. It's better than living in Florida where she used to live. I'd rather have hurricanes than tornadoes. Hurricanes, you have warning and you can prepare. Freak. I say that with love. I, I mean, it's the most tornadoes come with hurricanes anyway, but with tornadoes, it can be sunny. We can yell at about tornadoes all the time. Well, yeah, but it can be sunny, and 20 minutes later, your house is gone here. Well, that's true. In Florida, you have two or three days to get out of town, to shut your windows, to clear out everything that you need to. You have warning with a hurricane. But tornadoes are real. So one thing I have to share that totally impressed the shot of me is when we were setting up for the hangout of my... Yes, I did. When we, were, when we were setting up for the Hangoutathon, 
we realized that the light coming in from the skylight in my attic was just making part of the set way too bright and leading to all sorts of difficulties. So Joe went out on my roof with two big old pieces of corrugated plastic and a roll of duct tape and then demanded a different roll of duct tape. It wasn't sticky. Because the first roll of duct tape was unimpressively sticky. No, no, no. And the one sticky. <laughs> and when I went up this morning to the, the attic, those two pieces of corrugated plastic were still attached really? to Really? Yes. Awesome. They survived all of the massive storms yesterday. Now, that said, our roof had leaked in two other places. So apparently Joe is better than the roof guys. Or they need to use duct tape. I just need to take people. more stuff on that. Real things. You are. So we will be posting all of these things and stuff online. And I'm going to go look at Nicole's computer to see what other comments there are. Just to say it one more time, we love all of you. Can you help us find other people to give us money? Can you go do science? The website is cosmoquest.org slash lowercase hangoutathon. We're looking for corporations, businesses, and angel donors to get us through the next 36 days because you got us through the first 36 hours. Yeah, that. Sure, people. Okay, so we have from we have from Tom Nathy the comment: Nicole is replicating the late heavy bombardment period. Yes, yes, she is. Um, <laughs> and Hugo is commenting: the chairs behind must be background galaxies in the whiteboard on the wall. The CMB then? Yes, yes they are. Um, and the comment that we haven't done the planetary bombardment yet was made and Nicole is going by with a giant trump. Help! Okay. No, 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 it's fine. I'm just going to order Okay. Tom wrote Planet Pops, brought to you today by McGrathy Custom Planets. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go set this down. Um, so Nicole is getting sucked back into her work. Um, Tiny has started cleaning. I have taken photographic documentation of how much we suck and don't suck at making planets out of cake and candy coating. All of this will go up on our blog and on Pinterest. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for being part of our community. I think I'm going to leave you to get back to the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where in the world you may be. This will end up going live on uh, Astrosphere Vids on YouTube once we download it and upload it. Uh, for now, it exists over a noisy astronomer's YouTube page. Thank you, thank you, thank you. CosmoQuest wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you guys helping us map out other worlds in our solar system, from mapping the moon to Mercury to Vesta. You're helping us discover where it will be safe to land future spacecraft and where we need to do more science. As we announced on Saturday, our next big project is going to be Mars. So stay tuned for Mars. Mars is possible because of the donations you all have given. Again, though, it's not over. We have 34 and a half more days of fundraising to go. Um, whoever donates as an individual, the largest, largest donation in the first 18 days is as a gift of thanks from Planetary Resources going to get a slice of meteorite. Thank you. All of your help is amazing. I'm going to stop lathering now and eat some cake pops. Bye-bye. I'm going to go off there. <laughs>